my backyard in a beautiful forested city of over 2,000 people. And I'm making these images on a little set that I built just about 30 feet from my deck uh, out by the wood pile. I chose to put the watering station underneath that tamarack because the tamarack has some droopy branches. Interlaced branches uh, give the birds something to perch on while they decide if they want to go down and get the water. So I'm pretty sure that a lot of my best images are actually going to come from the birds drooping on the branches as they're coming down to get to the water. I can't believe that just happened. With lawnmowers going and, you know, just in the neighborhood in my own backyard, it's the middle of May and warblers are migrating. And I was so surprised. I was so surprised to see a Nashville warbler, a female Nashville. And, you know, building that water bath is important. Birds are often looking for water. They're kind of stressed for resources when they're migrating. I've planted this little oasis in my backyard sort of as a convenience store for birds as they're migrating and putting this water here I never guessed that within 24 hours of getting everything situated that not only would I be attracting my local cat birds and song sparrow and house finches and robins but I got a migrant I got a Nashville warbler female she's coming through and made beautiful pictures and little footage too so man uh, the blind's only been set up for, you know, an hour, and the bath has only been sitting there for 24 hours, and I've already made really exciting pictures of a house wren and also of a Nashville warbler. Yeah, this common yellow throat has a black mask, yellow throat, greenish head, little white stripe, and the American goldfinch has a yellow throat, yellow face, black cap, and uh, I've got the two of them together. One of the realities of small bird photography is that most of your pictures don't actually turn out. And um, sometimes it's your favorite pose that's underexposed or your favorite pose that's blurry. But there's a few really good ones in there and there's two in particular that I'm really excited about.